It's free! Hi guys, it's Vicar10 and welcome to your 19th Roblox Lawyer Scripting tutorial. Now, as usual, I have to apologise that the video was late. That's because I was at a camp, so I couldn't actually record any videos. And the week before, I didn't... I can't remember what. I think I, I, think I actually generally forgot about it the week before. That won't happen again. But anyway, we're here with this <coughs> the scripting showcase today. Now, I've just tested the models I received. They've got two models this time. Um, the first one we have here is by Trainquilizer Tria. I'm going to get the name right this time, it's the same person that won the other tournament. The script is called Piggy. We'll look inside the script. Now this one, say, if someone types kill me then... Well, first of all... We'll look at... How, we'll look at what it does. Whenever commands chatted, which is this... Whenever this person chats, it will go run this function. If message is kill me, so if the person says kill me like that, and then pick it and will die, that's not very nice. So, and command is tranquilizer tizer. But there is a few problems with that. One being it won't work, because it auto, as soon as the game starts, it will set commands to game.players.tranquilizer trigger. Now, that won't work because as soon as the game starts, train quality trigger won't be in the game. It will in say start if you go tools um, tools test start solo, play solo, and then train quality tizer will be in the game straight away, so this won't glitch. But we won't be able to type in solo anyway. And also that in multiplayer, you're not gonna be in the game as soon as it starts. So th so this won't work. This will this will throw an error as it Tranquilizer Tiger is not a member of players. As soon as the game starts, it's going to say, right, let's find Tranquilizer Tiger trigger in players. And it won't be there, so a little error. But otherwise, this will work. He's killed me, thank you, sir. Right, this person, Tranquilizer Trigger, will receive 200 Robux for submitting a model to the, shipping, the scripting showcase. And now we have the next one. The final one, which is Sun and Moon. Now, you remember I've been mentioning this, mentioning this in a previous tutorial, and this person has actually confirmed that it was actually a scripting showcase model. Now, this person is called Louis Rocks Forty. At least his YouTube account is. I can't actually remember what you, um, Robux, but it might be the same. His YouTube is Louis Rocks Forty. Now, as I'll just open the script up, not open the script. I'll actually show you what it does first. Here's the sun, and that's the moon. If we play it now, you'll see the, the sun and the moon are gradually turning away from each other. Now I'm guessing that he's using a loop through this and then cleverly adjusting the positions of it or the C frames or however we start. Let's just look in a script after this. Now I assume these will keep going. It doesn't actually change the time of day, actually, you can't tell because of the place. So let's have a look. We'll click on this day night script. Script. So it will go sun, it's going to work so it's going to script the moon. Now that is, there's a better way of doing that. You could do, if you say you change the name of day night script or change the name of sun and moon, you wouldn't necessarily, you wouldn't do anything about, you couldn't do anything about moon or sun, except for get children one, get children two, but that wouldn't work necessarily. We could do day night script, we could just do script.parents, and then you can actually change the name of it without worrying, or put it in another model. So if I just put, drag this inside another model, it wouldn't work, because it wouldn't no longer be inside work. So you should really do script.parent. Hang on, I'll just zoom in so you can see. Sorry about that. And now we're going to do angle equals one. Or should we do angle equals angle plus, plus one? Now you could have used a for loop for that, but then it would stop at some point, so you don't really need to do that. Sun dot C frame, his C frame dot new. Now this is quite clever maths. It's going to set the C frame to exactly the right position as you saw there. It's going to move it down a bit and across a bit, and it's the same with the moon C frame. It's going to use this um, the radians of. It's going to use the radians function in a maths to get, do this. You won't probably know enough maths to actually know how to do this, so don't worry if you can't do this. As he just he must know C framing and a lot of maths already. So, and then he's going to wait while it's going to continue doing the loop forever. So just going to the sun and moon is going to go around the circles like that, like you saw. So that was the scripting showcase. I'm just going to move the camera back into the actual. Now the nice thing about Studio at the moment is that they've weirdly changed the camera so it always rotates back of the thing that you're zoomed around. So I had to keep adjusting the zoom. So now 
those are the actual scripting showcase models but I did pose a contest now again the contest proved to be very tricky for people seeing as no one actually managed to formally submit a message to me saying at least I don't think they did but some, the first person to actually the first person to actually f come up with the answer for this posted on the YouTube you remember what I've seen the same guy Louis Rocks 40 posted oh by the way the function is string dot lower now that is correct the function that you need to use to get this is string dot lower I will accept that as the answer seeing as no one else has done it and now we'll go into the tutorial for today okay we're in a scripting tutorial and as you may have guessed we're going to continue with the admin commands and we're going to fix the glitches that would happen if you spelt the person's cap if you got the capital letters of the name wrong so if my name say had a capital I in it and you didn't put a capital I in the actual typing then it wouldn't work so we're going to zoom in so you can see again zoom in fully just in case you can't see and we've got all this I haven't done the player band function so before we go onto the player band function we're actually going to change this the capital letters thingy that we, we've been working on that's a technical term for it there we're going to be using the function string.lower to to do what I'm about to tell you it's basically say if someone had a string someone typed that because their caps lock was completely and utterly screwed over and my name is actually that with no capital letters at all or say just for purposes we're going to say my name was this if someone wants to say bands of speaker 10 what we're going to con what we're going to do with string dot lower it would work with string up as well we're going to convert both of them to lowercase so we're going to change this one to pig head 10 we're also going to change this one to pig head 10 and that there's no capital letters at all and it will work. So say if someone did Telemon, someone wanted to ban Telemon. I was actually in the server where that happened once. His main account got deleted. Someone, if someone said, say, Telemon, like that, and then his actual name is Telemon, we're going to convert both of these so that none, neither of them have any capital letters. So we're going to convert this one to that, but we're also going to convert this one to this just for the purposes of comparing, we won't actually be changing the name of the person, we'll just be comparing the name as if it was this and then we can easily check if they're the same, because you can't have this cannot be an account as well as this, these two accounts can't be there, you could probably have a capital I just to make it look like it but in in um, this scripting font it doesn't actually show it like that so that's what we're going to be doing and the function as I mentioned was this, string.lower and then you just put, whoops, lower, whoops, lower, put the string in here. I'm just going to delete all these empty lines that I created. And now we're going to be using this, first of all, in our kick function. Now, with this, was well, not really a function, it's an if statement block. Now, first of all, on this, we're just going to basically change both names to lowercase, as I just showed you. So, local player is game.players.findfirstchild string.sub message 6. Now, we can't actually easily converse it just by typing a string low in there because we can't, we'll be comparing the name of this. We want to find the actual player. We're going to have to create a function to do that. So, so actually, we're not going to do it that one because that will be in the later tutorial. We'll actually be going through another one. In the later, in the later story I'll be talking about is when we'll, because at the moment you have to type the full name, so you can't just type pig for me if there's no one else that started with pig in the server. You'd have to type fully pig at ten. So we're not going to be doing all that in this story. We're going, I'm just going to show you is player admin. So you can type in the names here with incorrect capitals. So I could now type after this. At the moment, if I want to tell them to be an admin, tell them on would work. But before that, only. But now, after that, even tell uh, that would work because that's spelled wrong. Telemon would work if you spelt it right, because I'm going to convert both of the names to lower case. So in this, this is actually really easy to do because this function, as you remember, already gets called whenever the whenever the player joins the game because we've told it to down here. If <coughs> else, if is player admin. So if a player is admin. And then we're going to do this. 
run this function. If, a if, if we're going to check if a player has now been by the running this function, and to do this, if name, which is the thing in here, is the same as v, but what we're going to do, string dot lower name, oops, it's the same as string dot lower v. So basically, if name in all lowercase is the same as v, which would be the name in here, all lowercase, and then it would also work. Not just if capital letters were exactly the same like it would be at the moment. We're not going. We're just going to convert it here. And another way of doing it, we, you could just do if name lower because it replaced the first argument, which is the message with whatever this is. So this would become what's ever in the brackets first but I'm going to leave it as that because that's what I've taught you mainly so now this is very easy we can now type pig head 10 with a capital G and that will now work because we've converted this one to lowercase just to compare with the other one for lowercase but it only happens in scripts so it doesn't actually convert them to lowercase and hope you hope you're following this now that is fairly easy to do so now after I've, after I will show you in the later tutorial how to do it so that that would kill me if there was no one else that started with pig in the server, or you, for Telemon you could just type T if there was no one else's name that started T in the that started as T in the server. I'll just leave it as that. But that will be in a later tutorial, and I'll also teach you how to make it so that you can do it with any capital letters afterwards then as well. But for now. I'm just going to show you how to make this part work with any capital letters. So I could now type kill slash or with the capital letters there and there as well. I've got capital up on it, press shift, that was kill it. So what we're going to do is when we're typing in this, we're going to leave all the time all of the characters in the speech marks as lowercase. So then we don't need to put any function after that. But what we're going to do here, if the, what the person said from 1 to 5 oops I've got a message on League of Legends if that the lower case of this is the same as kill slash so if what they said the lower case of whatever they said from 1 to 5 is kill slash of course we could do it like this if string dot lower and then put string dot sub inside it like that but that's just too confusing to get many brackets and you probably just forget a bracket at some point just because you're not paying attention so we're just going to do it lower it's a lot easier like this so if string dot lower colon lower is kill slash which is all lowercase as well and then it's also going to do this if lower of lowercase of that did I put a space in between that? I can't tell when there's all this I'm just going to do it with all of these so when the lowercase of all of these strings are going to be in kill slash are going to be in kill slash when the lowercase of all these strings are going to be compared with this it's always going to be the lowercase so this will always work no matter what caps because when it's actually comparing it's just going to be all in lowercase so now we're going to go on to the player band function which I'm sure is all you've been waiting for the player band function we did this before we haven't done a player band function before we did something very similar which is the player added fun well is player admin before the band slash here you can type in the player's name we want it, it's going to remove the player, the same as the kick, and then it's also going to in insert the player into this. So, what we did in the player added, it, in the is player admin, is check whether the player name matched any of the names in this table by going loop, by looping through the table and checking if there is. So we'll return true if it's there. If not, it'll continue to this one, and if that one's there, it will return true. If not, it'll continue to this one, and if that's not there, it will return false. Actually, it won't return anything. It will just return nil, which is the same as it's returning nothing. So in player band, we're going to actually do exactly the same, except whenever a player is, first of all, in, in our player added function, from that which calls this, we're going to check if player band. It's going to call it here. We're going to type in a new player.name here, which is going to be this. So the name of the new player. We're going to basically do exactly the same thing as we did here, except compare it with everyone in this list and of course in this or table is what it's called not only will it stop people who have who if you typed 
who you've typed in here for Bing, but when we used the band slash, it inserts the name of the player into the table there. So we're going to be doing exactly the same. So we're going to start off the loop with four IV in pairs. Remember, it doesn't have to be IV. You should should know this. Admins do if string dot lower name is oops I just looped through the admins did you notice that I was just copying from there band we're going to search through the band table we're not going to check if the player is admin otherwise it will ban all the admins is string dot lower then turn true we're going to end here we're going to end here we don't need to return we don't need to return false but you can if you want to it won't make any different things when we check down here we're just checking if it's anything but nil or false because we haven't actually given it condition it's anything but nil, nil or false so if the player is in the band table oh that's my phone ringing if the player is in the band table and then hang on sorry about that my phone rang um it's going to check whether the person's name is is any of the ones in our table which we've added to from here and if it is we're going to remove it we're going to remove that player from the game just with the player remove it's as soon as they join the game it's going to remove it'll probably say this game has shut down or something if they're not banned and then we're going to check if they're an admin and if they're not an admin we're going to print player is not admin and we're not going to give any special benefits to them whether it being banned or giving any of the functions in here and now that is all we're actually going to cover for today. I will do the Nick tutorial very quickly. I appreciate this has been a relatively small one for the amount of time I've actually been not doing. Well, not doing. I'm about two weeks. I haven't actually done a tutorial. I'll do, try and do the next one this weekend instead of two weeks later. In the next tutorial, we'll just be adding some different functions, different um, commands on here. We'll, we'll do a, we'll do a few more commands, and then we'll get onto more advanced scripts after finishing these admin commands we'll do a few more commands and then do what I said making it so that any you can just type pig if it's pig to 10 and so on and then we'll go on to other scripts because by then you'll be able to create your own function um, commands easily so there's no contest for this tutorial there will be a contest at the next tutorial remember you can submit for this models for the scripting showcase instead if your name if your YouTube account is louirocks40 then send me a message with a shirt and I'll give you the 750 plus to 200 from the scripting showcase you got which is 950 robux all for you and if your name is train tranquilizer trigger and then you'll also be given 200 robux for the scripting tutorial so i'm actually giving out 1100 1, <coughs> <coughs> uh, sorry i got a bit of cough 1150 robux to in total for this tutorial. So that's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.